Greetings. I'm Doc Griffin, your Swing Surgeon Director of Club Fitting Operations. And today we're going to start our series on club fitting and the elements that are involved in a professional and proper club fitting. Uh, we started off with uh, introduction last week and today we're really going to start in with the nuts and bolts and the steps that I go through in the process of taking somebody and going through a club fitting. Uh, the first step, uh, other than greet and meet and, and discuss a little bit about what their expectation, expectations are and what I can actually do um, in the realm of uh, doing fitting and club work. Um, the next step is we jump right into uh, taking the measurements and one static measurement that we take and we use a real high technological piece of equipment here uh, this is a club maker's ruler. Um, the first measurement that we take is the golfer's wrist to floor. We have them stand at a dress position or a tin hut, uh, shoulders back looking straight ahead, eyes forwards and hands down by the side in a relaxed position, not rigid or taut. And for right-handed golfers, we measure wrist to floor of the left hand and for left handed we measure uh, wrist of floor of the right side. Uh, right here is a primary uh, example of how most fitters or retail shops uh, overlook just the most simplistic aspect of doing a proper club fitting. They walk in, they look up at you and wonder, oh my goodness, how tall is this person? Uh, I'm sure those of you that are tall out there or those of you that are uh, shorter than the average American male that you, if you've gone in and had a fitting done that was the first thing that they said oh my gosh you are tall or if you're short they probably didn't say anything out of trying to be tactful but how tall you are listen how tall you are how tall you are where the top of your head is has absolutely nothing to do with how long or how short your golf clubs are. You don't hold it with your head. You hold the clubs with your hand. So for this reason, we're measuring the wrist of floor that is the furthest up from the ground when it is holding a golf club. We want to make sure that the person is in an athletically uh, balanced position uh, with the proper knee flex, uh, proper spine tilt of 30 degrees and they're not having to shove the club out from them They're not having to bring the club back into them too close in order for it to feel comfortable from a length standpoint Now yes, I realize that with a club that is too long you can effectively take the lie angle Which we're not going to deal with lie angle now, but you can take the lie angle and bend it and Make it flatter to where the club will sole properly on the floor. However, if the club is too long for you to handle and manage properly to where you're hitting the ball and soling it out at the bottom properly and hitting the ball in the center of the club face, then it doesn't matter uh, how flat or how upright a club is, the club's just too long for you to manage properly. Now we'll deal with a couple uh, side effects from having clubs that are too long. There are more than these two, but these are the two most prevalent. Uh, trying to do the vertical upright swing where you come up, you put the club up in a vertical upright position at 12 o'clock and come back down and coming into the golf ball. If, if your club is too long, you're not going to be able to make this vertical upright swing because the club, when it gets to the bottom, is going to stick in the ground. So the first thing that a club that is too long will cause you to do is to have to swing flat and around yourself. Now. A lot of people have figured out, subconsciously of course, nobody does this intentionally, that if a club is too long and I try to come from the inside and it's going to keep getting stuck in the ground and I'm going to hit shots that are fat, then if I take the club and I actually spin my shoulders out and around and bring the club from the outside in across the ball, I don't stick the club in the ground and I don't hit shots that are fat. So I can get by with playing a club that's too long. However, most of you that have tried that 
again, this is not a conscious effort and decision. It's something that your body and your brain work together and figure out. We were, we're made, uh, I think the correct way to say it is that we're fearfully and wonderfully made that we will figure out how to take something that is not exactly proper and we'll figure out how to make it at least acceptable as far as getting by with it. So you compensate by throwing the club out, coming across it and hitting it with a glancing blow. Get your hands closed, you hit pulls or a little power fade, leave the club face open and you hit fades or slices. So those are just two of the most common um, compensatory moves that golfers make if their clubs are too long. I will throw one more in there because it's a little bit comical. I had one guy, uh, every time that he would come in and his clubs were too long, as we're talking about, he'd come in, it's just before he'd get to the ball, he'd raise up on his toes. And I watched and I watched and every time he hit the ball, he did this. And I said, uh, sir, do you always raise up on your toes just before impact. He said, what are you talking about? Uh, he had no idea that he did this. So this is what I'm talking about, that the human body and brain are just remarkable that we will do things in order to make something fit us or work uh, at least reasonably acceptable, even though it may not be the best. So step number one in a proper and professional club fitting in my opinion, at least this is how we do, we start with getting your wrist to floor so that as I'm going through the rest of the test, I'm not trying to have you hit clubs that are going to produce failure and that are too long and are frustrating and we can make the adjustment then. Well, that's it for series number one, technically, and that is dealing with the length of the club. Well, as always, we appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, and remember, better golf is just a fit away.